Pulido at Belmar Public Library, inviting you to join us here at the library on Tuesday, October 3rd at 6 p.m. to meet author Joanna Kloster here as she talks about her new book, Lily Unleashed. It's about a young girl who rescues a puppy against the ills of puppy mills. Joanna, welcome. Tell us about your book. Thank you, Luis. I'm excited to be here and share with your readers about my debut novel, Lily Unleashed. Uh, and to be at your beautiful public library, I'm excited for that. Uh, who am I? I am a Jersey girl that is now living in coastal North Carolina. Uh, I'm also a retired elementary teacher from Green Bay Public Schools. And I'm also a volunteer leader, uh, humane policy volunteer leader with the Humane Society of the United States. I'm an animal welfare advocate. Wonderful. And I'm sure that drew the, uh, was the basis for uh, inspiration for the novels that you wrote. Tell us a little bit about the novel and what people can expect from that and who's it for? Okay, the novel is uh, titled Lily Unleashed and it is in the genre of middle grade uh, to young adult. But frankly, I've had a lot more adults read it that love it. So it kind of speaks to anyone with an open heart for animals. Uh, and my, this, is a, this, this book is inspired by love. It is based on the puppy mill dog Cagney that my husband and I rescued uh, about in, 20, in 2009. I had never heard of puppy mills and Cagney came from a, uh, an Amish puppy mill up in Wisconsin. He was rescued by the North Central Maltese Rescue and he came with a lot of emotional baggage which I knew nothing about. And then I started reading about puppy mills and puppy mill dogs, which opened my eyes to this uh, horrendous thing called commercial dog breeding and factory farming of dogs. And so I started reading and learning about, about that. Uh, I don't want to spill too much of the beans with the folks that are coming that night, but uh, I was also inspired to share his story because a lot of my students were asking questions about this dog that I was writing about during my writing workshops with my third graders, they couldn't understand how dogs could be locked in cages 24-7. So I couldn't find a book and I decided to write one. Wow, so I think it's really cool because uh, I've, I've heard of the stories of puppy mills and, and the problems that they create with a lot of mills. And it's an issue that a lot of people should be aware of. And yes. we're looking forward to have you here. Uh, at the library to talk about this story and to talk about uh, the story of the young girl in your book who is uh, quite a fighter in her own right, isn't she? Yeah, and yes, Lily, it's rather a fascinating story about how she comes out of her shell. It's a coming of age story and uh, it focuses on an underdog, a puppy mill dog, who inspires Lily to grow as an individual and find her voice by speaking for the voiceless dogs that need someone to speak up for them. But there's also issues of loss, there's issues of friendship, bullying. We take on a lot of the uh, things that young people, adolescents will encounter uh, as they grow into middle school. And so, uh, especially each character learn, has to deal with loss in their own way. So there's a lot of things that I think many people can identify with in this story as Lily grows and finds her voice for the voiceless. Uh, let's see, this would appeal, I think, to anyone who loves animals and who is for the underdog, likes to see the underdog win and, uh, and speak up for an injustice. And, you know, I think it's kind of timely in these times of social uh, a lot of social injustice is in the news and what we're speaking to in our schools, in our classrooms, in our libraries. So I really believe this is quite relevant and pertinent to the times that we're living in. Well, in that case, we are definitely looking forward to having you here at the library on Tuesday, October 3rd at 6 p.m. Once again, we're inviting you to join us here to meet Joanna here and talk about this exciting book and story and uh, learn about how we can do our part to help uh, dogs dealing with puppy mills these days. So with that, once again, we'll see you then at Tuesday, October 36 p.m. right here at the Belmar Public Library. Thank you, have a good night. See you then, bye. bye. <laughs>